Lucinda is just sort of a you know an ordinary woman who's I think stuck in a, in a sort of mundane period in her life and she meets this man on a train and they sort of unfortunately are very intrigued by each other and they make a kind of a bad decision to sort of move to a hotel and and the consequences are pretty pretty great. Well, they're they're all spaced out. I mean, they're not as close together as they seem. It's not as in, you know uh, impressive as it seems. I mean, the rumor has it was shot about a year ago, a little over a year ago. Uh, derailed. I was shooting right now, and that was only about a four week job. And then um, Friends with Money was only a three week job, and that was in January. And then the breakup was two months in Chicago. So there's a lot of time in between. If it speaks, if I if I'm interested in the story, if I don't get bored, if I if I feel like the character, I usually read it as an audience member, and then I'll go back and read it as the person, and then I see if it's sort of if I can see myself playing the part. He's wonderful. Clive was a very kind, very supportive, very funny. We had a blast together. All, all crew had a fun time. As dark of a movie as it is. I think we, we kind of counterbalance the tone by having a really fun time together. I don't know what makes that, but it's the Oscars, so it just is, you know, and I don't usually think about the awards stuff. If it happens, it's great, and if it doesn't, it's not, it's not why I'm here. I hope I just keep, get, keep being allowed to do it, you know? I just feel lucky that I, I keep getting invited back. It definitely has a has an old it has an old style feel to it, you know. Sort of actually more throwback to like the '70s type movies, I would say, like Hitchcock. And it's got a good feel to it. It's it's it's. I think it's well done. It's complicated. It's it's a hard one to pull off, but I think they did a good job.